Welcome back to the show. It's the battle between old money and new money. And again, Fallon and I are team new money in this show. Uh, <laughs> you'll see why. Uh, in 19th century New York City, what are we talking about? Well, the new money isn't afraid to cause a little stir in the hit HBO show, The Gilded Age. Look. The fact remains, he's been passed around like an old shoe. I'm serious, George. He says he's afraid his plans for the opening night have changed. He knew it was coming. Haven't you got your committee today? Will you tell them? No, and nor will you. Won't Mrs. Astor trumpet it abroad? Then we must trumpet louder. When you talk like that, you make me quite nervous. Good. We have... Oh! I love that show more than our show. I, I, yeah. <laughs> the season two finale. <laughs> the season two finale of the Gilded Age airs next Sunday on HBO and Max. And joining me now are two of the stars. Yeah, hello, they're here. Carrie Coon and Morgan Spector, everybody. Okay. I uh I I I I try to act professional and not fan out. I've been doing this for a long time, but I, uh, I love you two more than I really should. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. I know. It's a, a, you don't have I to respond. I think you're not alone in feeling that way. Yeah. And, and just so you know, all of us here at this show, we're team new money. We are team new money 100%. That's right. <laughs> Carrie. The only team. Carrie, let me start with you. All kidding aside, it always starts with the written word. It always starts with a good script, good characters crafted by great writers. When you got the script, uh, you know, two, three years ago, whenever you guys went into production, what was your first reaction? Oh, I mean, what a wonderful invitation, especially to be asked to do a period piece, which is something I've always wanted to do. I've done it on stage, but again, only 1,100 <laughs> seats, you know, only certain people in Wisconsin have seen that work. So it was <laughs> wonderful to get to bring this period, this really dynamic period in American history alive um, for a much broader audience. And Morgan, how the about the costumes? Oh. Come on! Yeah, the co well, I was gonna say, Morgan, I was gonna say, I'm, I wanted to flip this. Usually, uh, you always ask, you know, uh, the interviews were always ask uh, the ladies, oh, what was it like putting on the, you know? But for you, the male costumes to me are just as fantastic. W what's mm -hmm. it like stepping into that wardrobe? Is it easier to get into character when you're wearing that wardrobe? Yeah, un un unquestionably. I, I mean, I don't. In that one of the shots you're playing, you can see those waistcoats that we wear. They're not. They're not as nearly as uncomfortable as corsets, but they have something of the same effect. They sort of they pull you in and up, and they give you that sense of um, of sort of poise and uh, an elongated spine. Um, and yeah, they really they really give you that sense of um, power and precision. And and the, you know the the costumes are all custom built to our bodies. They're made by you know, artisans who, who are still capable of this kind of craft. I think it is, you know, our, our designers have had to source our costumes from, from Europe, uh, all from various different countries in the EU, because there are only, only certain kind of craftspeople who can really do these, who can still, st who still have these skills. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really, it is, it is, it is a thrill. It is an unusual privilege to get to wear clothes that are as finely wrought as these ones are. So, yeah, it, it certainly helps. Carrie, the saying goes, you know, a rising tide raise all, raises all boats. Look, the boat that you guys have, what I mean by that, your cast is spectacular. What a toy box. What an amazing toy box to play in. What is it like? You know, and I know that's a really generic question, but is it just as much fun as we think it is playing with Baranski and the, and the gentleman next to you? I mean, what is it like in that yes. toy box? There's a lot of singing. <laughs> There's a lot of singing and a lot of just theater nerds nerding out over yeah. theater. Uh, great stories. We get to hear all the wonderful stories. You know, Christine and Cynthia were on stage decades ago, and, and Christine was playing her mother. You know, they've, just, they've all known each other a really long time. And even just people like Danae Benton up and coming to hear Danae just singing away in her dressing room. I mean, it really is as fun as you think. We really, I'm sorry, you guys, we have a disgustingly good time. No! <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, my last question for you in our last 30 seconds. Uh, I know everyone here on our staff, we're rabid fans. What's the, been the fan reaction to you when you're on the street, my friend? Um, you know, usually it's just people come up and they're like, 
because I, I don't live in New York City. I live in the country. And so often people, if they see me and they know the show, they're, they're like, why are you here? Like, what are you doing in this small place? And then they, and then they, um, they come up and, and say, then they, they punch you, you know, in the stomach. Yeah, they, they invariably just come up and, yeah, just give me a real whack. No, uh, yeah, people people are kind, and I'm honestly always just thrilled that people have responded to the show, so it's it's always nice. Well, we have responded. Uh, big fans of the both of you, as I said at the beginning. Thank you so much. Continued success, you guys. Thank, Thank you so much, much, Jason. Thanks for having yeah. us, you guys. Thanks, guys. Carrie Queen, Morgan Spector. The season finale of The Gilded Age airs Sunday night on HBO and streams on Max. And if you didn't know, uh, same creator that did Downton Abbey. You're watching it as well. I didn't realize it was already the, the season was coming to an end, though. Last night was the penultimate. It was okay. setting up for a really great finale. And Morgan Spector is horribly unattractive. <laughs> the audience is like, not quite sure what to think of me on that one. No, he, he is. Uh, he has a spread in the new inter in, in the new interview magazine. It should be illegal. It oh. really should be. I mean, seriously. If I looked half like that, I would. What I would, would you never. Do? I would never wear clothes. Okay, I would fair. just all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever, ever. Yeah. A very thank, different TV show. Very different TV show. And time that's, slot. That's right. Yeah. Time <laughs> slot would be very different. Yeah.